In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex topic called solving a value mixture problem using a system of linear equation. So we can already tell that ultimately we're going to end up with a system of linear equation. Reading the problem, we have a family has two cars. The first car has a fuel efficiency of 25 miles per gallon of gas, and the second has a fuel efficiency of 15 miles per gallon of gas. During one particular week, the two cars went a combined total of 750 miles for a total gas consumption of 40 gallons. How many gallons were consumed by each of the two cars that week? So I'm going to start by looking at what we're asked for. How many gallons were consumed by each of the two cars? So I'm going to call the first car, car 1, and I'm going to say that x is the number of gallons of gas that it used. And then car 2, I'm going to let y equal the number of gallons that it used. So looking back at what was stated in the problem, the total gas consumption is 40 gallons. So the total gallons used was 40. And that means if we take the amount of gas that car 1 used, x, and then we add the amount of gas that car 2 used, y, the total would be 40 miles. Just going to move that a little closer. So we have our first linear equation, but we also need a second linear equation in order to have a system of equations. So looking back into the problem again, we see that the total miles is 750. So I'm going to have a second equation here where the total number of miles is 750. To find out the number of miles that the first car goes, we know that it gets 25 miles per gallon. And x is the number of gallons that it uses. So if it uses one gallon, it would go 25 miles. Two gallons would be 50 miles. Three gallons, 75. So that's multiplication. The total number of miles that car 1 goes is 25 times x. So I'm going to put that into the equation. 25x plus the second car. Well, the second car gets 15 miles per gallon. So again, one gallon of gas would get you 15 miles. Two gallons would get 30 miles three gallons, 45 miles, and so on. So it's again multiplication. So the total miles that that second car goes is 15. Y, multiplying 15 and Y, equals the number of miles for that second car. So 15 Y. So just to reiterate, in that first equation, we have the total number of gallons is 40. And in the second equation, we use the total number of miles. And now that we have our two equations, we can solve the system with either elimination or substitution. For this example, I'm going to use elimination. In order to work with small numbers, I'm going to take this first one and multiply it by minus 15. And the reason I'm doing that is so that I can get the y's to cancel. Whenever I distribute here, negative 15 times x is negative 15x. Negative 15 times y is a minus 15y. And negative 15 times 40 equals negative 600. And the reason we chose negative 15 was so that whenever I add, that 15x and minus 15x is going to cancel. Whenever we add the left-hand side, 25x minus 15x gives me 10x. And on the right-hand side, 750 minus 600 gives me 150. I can then divide both sides by 10, and we have x equals 15. So we know that car 1 uses 15 gallons. And then to solve for car y, I'm going to take that value and plug it back into either one of the original equations. And since the first one has smaller values, I'm going to plug it in here. 
I'm going to rewrite that first equation and I'm going to substitute x with 15. So that's going to be 15 plus y equals 40. And then to solve the y, I'll subtract the 15 over, leaving me the y equals 25. So car 1 used 15 gallons, car 2 used 25 gallons for a total of 40 gallons.